Okay, how's this? Whoa, loud and clear. Jeez. I, I don't know why this is different, but it's fixed, so whatever. Okay. Shut up, MacBook. Fine. Okay, how how are we doing here? Is this okay? Let's do, let's do the audio check and then we can talk. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I I don't have any explanation for what just happened. I'll describe it and then we'll play the freaking game. <laughs> Oh, man. So there was a stream that just went live from my channel. I, I, I made it go live. <laughs> yeah, I made it sound like it just happened. But no, no, I pressed, I pressed the go live button and did that. Um, and my mic sounded horrible, even though it looked like it was coming through fine on OBS and having changed nothing. So I stopped streaming into like a test recording and it sounded fine too. So then I just restarted the computer and now it works. Whatever. Don't know. <laughs> I'm glad it's gone. I'm, I'm gonna be paranoid about that though. I'm gonna have to like check throughout the stream. But no, it still seems okay. I'm assuming it's some weird OBS glitch. And I'm really glad this happened tonight because tomorrow I will have been moved into my new apartment and there'll be things to talk about with that as well. But um, if I had this glitch tomorrow night, the number of possible reasons that things would be jacked up would be so much higher than here. Like nothing has changed here at all. Unless my apartment knows I'm like leaving it and it's um trying to sabotage me, which I guess is a possibility. I guess it's something I didn't consider until this moment, but it's something I should probably keep an eye on. Um But yeah. That was weird. Uh let's move on with our lives. I'm I'm sure you're happy to. I know I am. Uh yeah, let me just. I, I'm I'm not positioned correctly. This threw me off my game. Ah, this glitch, especially audio glitches, man. Of all the glitches, it had to be an audio glitch. But you know, I'm just like completely neurotic about for whatever reason. Ah, well, it's like your one connection to me, right? Is is my voice? So it's important. It's it is. <laughs> so I will be obsessive about it. Thank you, if you don't mind. But ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. I think we've yeah, let's let's just let's do the intro and get in there, shall we? So Hello and welcome everyone to another stream. This is Laggy Couch, and tonight we're back in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I think we're getting close to the end. If you look at the map, we have um positioned ourselves near the top of this inverted castle. Um if, if in case you missed it, we, we beat the main part of the castle, and then a, another castle that was upside down made its way down from the clouds and connected with the original castle. So there's this entire like second half of the game, even though it didn't take as long as the first half. Um, and with this upside down castle, the difficulty curve has gone insane, and it's been very challenging, and um, <laughs> I'm glad to have made my way all the way up here after, you know, Quite a few trials and tribulations, I think it's fair to say. But, yeah, so... I feel like Drax is probably lurking around here. Count Dracula himself. Uh, it seems like a Dracula-type place. If he's going to be anywhere, it's probably up here, towards the top of his castle. So, we're going to go find him, and we're going to go kill him. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, ch 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 is there anything else to discuss? There is, but probably nothing that needs to be discussed, like, right away. So we'll just get to exploring and let the conversation flow naturally. Hmm. So we have two ways to go. I'm going to choose this way first, because it doesn't matter at all. Ah! Upgrade. What's that? It's a magic missile. Cool. We have quite a few of those. I think they're consumables. And I also think that... um. Because it's in my nature, I just don't use consumables unless I absolutely have to. So, uh, let's go ahead and save. So, today, in outside game news, I went and picked up the keys. So, I'm officially um, leasing an apartment in a different city. 
I checked the place out and I got the internet and electricity all set up. So we should be good to go tomorrow for a stream. It'll be a post move in stream. So I don't know how much energy I'll have, but we'll, we'll do our best and we'll try to, um, to have a good time. I'm sure we will. It, we're going to have a good time for sure. Even if I'm dead, we're going to have a great time. It might even be like more fun for you guys. if I'm like passed out. It'd be a different kind of stream to be sure. I, I don't mess with these witches. They're like hard to hit and they're hot and they intimidate me quite frankly. But yeah, so everything seems to be great over there. Had some trouble getting stuff set up, but hmm. Nice try, Bat. I'll kill one Bat, you know. I let him all the rest of them escape, but that particular one was, um, I don't know. I didn't like the look in his eye. Why is the first thing I came in here what you said about witches? I, I don't know, man. Maybe you just have amazing timing. But welcome to the stream, Deception Soundwave. How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I, uh, I checked out my new apartment, and I started making plans for what I'm going to do with the place, which is first order of business is like block all the light. All sources of light must be eliminated. I'll be buying curtains and blocking that off. Um, I have other plans too, but that's like the main thing I need to do. It's way too bright in there currently. Whoa, what the fuck? I've been frozen. Who? Who did that? You. Who are you? Frozen half. You died in two hits. She evaporated. Okay, fine. More witches. Okay. See a witch. Don't want to mess. C continue flying back and forth and throwing cats at me and stuff. Oh. This is an intimidating room. But we have just the thing to deal with it. Give me that spike breaker armor. Let's break some spikes. Yeah, this is the way to the... Um, what was the upgrade? There was an upgrade over here in the, uh, the right way up castle. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I think it was essential, though. It was... This is where the Spike Breaker armor was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Because, yeah, we came through in bat form and, like, flew through the dark, and then coming back the other way, we could just, like, break everything. So what are we waiting over here? I hope it's a goodie. It's not. It's skeletons. It's a blood skeleton. More witches. Unhittable. Um, sexy witches. I I'll demonstrate. Look. Uh, well, okay, that was just me failing, but... Yeah, you, you try to strike him, and it's just like, no, you, you can't do damage to me. It's a pretty good trick. Let me out of here. That's why I didn't want to mess with them. They, they're not playing around. They also make very sus sounds when they do anything. I'm assuming they do it when when you hit them. They'll go like, ah! Um, cat, just don't come back. Did that cat just explode when I hit with my sword? Okay, fair enough. We are in Dracula's castle, after all, where all enemies must explode when they... Are you still? Get... I'm, I'm going off screen. Bye. But now I've lost my train of thought. Um, no, wait, it's a lot of skellies. They respawn really quick, actually. Hmm. What skeletons, eh? So you could farm some health here if you wanted. This hallway ever in? Does this go anywhere? It does. Okay, good. Uh, let's do that actually. Give me my dark. Thank you. Because if Drax is over here, whoa, that was fancy. Am I getting any healing from this? I don't think I am. These blood skeletons don't bleed. This is nonsense. Whatever. Okay. Hmm. Well, surely there must be a delicious treat waiting for me at the end of this um, long and arduous journey. It's a elixir. Not bad. Elixir, eh? I mean, maybe I would, but we have to at least go on a few dates first. All right, back to the blood skeletons who bleed, but you can't harvest their blood because I guess the blood isn't good. It's like bone blood, high in calcium, low in nutrients. Hmm. I guess we could fly over them, but we'd have to thread the needle between the, the roof pillars and the skeletons, which I don't feel like threading today. I'm not in the mood for sewing. Back through we go. Let me over. I, I said let me over. I, I didn't say it politely, to be fair. Hmm. Cat! Cat does like 30 damage. Why is that cat so good? Whatever, it's fine. Hmm. Alright. So Dracula is not over here. You know, I'm just assuming he's up here. It's just like a feeling I have, but I have no confirmation that he's around here anywhere. What the f- 
fuck was that? Yeah! Sound. Why do I keep doing that? No skull. Which I, I... All right, you know what? I'm going to kill the first witch of the entire playthrough. We're going to throw axes at her until she dies. That's the plan for victory. Step one, throw an axe. Step two, throw an axe. Step three, throw an axe. And then we repeat all the steps all over again. What? Come here. Come here. Hmm. Didn't expect that. Probably should have. She turned to a cat and tried to escape. But there was no escape. Also, cat had a hat. Reminds me of Soul Eater. Man, that was a good show. I need to watch that again, I think. I was reminded because I was watching a streamer the other day. And he had a sick Soul Eater shirt on. And it was... It made me a little bit jealous. I kind of... I was like, man, I should order a shirt like that. But then I was like, wait a minute. I haven't seen Soul Eater in, like, so long. I can't even tell you the plot. And I do have that fear, you know, of um, wearing shirts and then, like, a fan of whatever you're wearing noticing. And then, like, quizzing you on it, you know? <laughs> that actually happened to me um, fairly recently. So there was a... There was an event I was going to where I was going to... It was like a meet and greet, basically. It was at the, the uh, convention I went to a few weeks ago. And at this convention, I bought a Persona 5 shirt, which is um, really awesome, I think. It's got the uh, Take Your Heart logo on it. So I really do love the art and most things about Persona 5. Like, the music is great. Um, it seems like it should be right up my alley. And I have played that game, but when I played it, I, I got... I played, like, the first, I don't know, like, five to maybe eight hours like four times because I kept picking it up and then not continuing, not following through and then trying the same thing like anywhere from a week to like a couple months later. So I got to a point where I was totally burnt out in the first part and I just, I just can't go through it. I don't have the, um, I don't have the energy or the desire to. So, but I, I like the art, like I said, so I bought the shirt cause it's cool. And, um, the, the person I was doing the meet and greet for is a huge Persona 5 fan, I know. And I almost wore that shirt, but I decided not to because I was scared if I did, they were going to ask me questions about Persona 5 that I was com I'd be completely unprepared to answer. Because I haven't spoiled myself, because there's always this like, chance I could go back and finish it off. So many bats! I'm just trying to blend in. Couldn't blend in with the bats. How sad. Okay, Red Skeleton Room. Color-coded skeletons around here. It could be the lighting, I guess. Yeah, basically I just worry too much is the bottom line here. They're all blood skeletons, no matter what color they are. I think if anything, these guys would be blood skeletons, but they're not. Wait, they are. They are blood skeletons. They're just not uniquely blood skeletons. This music is still weird to me. Hmm. Okay. I like fighting those ice witches. They're they're easy, they're cool. Quite literally, very cool. There we go. Frozen half. Why is it a frozen half though? The name's a little strange. Regular ass skeletons. Like zone one skeletons. Hmm. The roof is a cloud. It's kinda weird. Let's see what's over here first. I'm looking for extra save points. No, no save points here. What's down then? What lies below? Nothing, just a big empty room. Shield potion. Attack potion. Okay. Big heart. Arrow. Huh. Hmm. I had to think about this room. It looked like, this looks like a room that something horrible lurks within, but. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a um, very fancy room. Nothing wrong with big fancy rooms. It just made me a little suspicious, you know. Necklace of J. What's that? It's got to be a relic, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Defense plus five. Why not? Why wouldn't you wear that necklace of J? Okay. Hmm. I kind of want more lore on that, you know? Like, why is this necklace so defensive? Who is Jay? It's got to be a reference, right? To, like, probably a past in Symphony of the Night... Sorry, Castlevania game. I've made that mistake before. Hmm. Not sure. 
But I'll wear it proudly and reap the benefits. Plus five defense. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. See, she freezes me. It's like this big, cool attack, but it only does like one damage, so... Again, no problem with the... the the half enemies or whatever their name were. What was their name? I'm going to go check, actually. Hang on. Is there anything in here? I, I, I remember this room from the uh, up, the right way up castle. There wasn't anything in there either. Just like a one coin lamp. There's got to be something else. I don't understand. All right. Who were you? What was your name? This is just a scouting mission. I just want to understand. No, no blood skeleton. No! You're not a blood skeleton lady. I... God damn it. Now we gotta summon her again. <sighs> Alright. Who are you? Frozen half. That's it. Oh, I knew it's worth it. You got a level. Nice. Frozen half. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the part that you don't want to eat of the hot pocket, is the frozen half. You want to eat the lava hot part. At least that's my preference. You're, you're free to have your own preferences and stuff. Ha. I felt like the save room was on the left. And it's a save room that goes somewhere else, too. Cool. So, this is going to be a shorter stream tonight. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to stream for about two hours. I'm going to stop streaming. And then I'm going to unplug everything and pack it up to get ready to move tomorrow. So, yeah, things are going to get a bit cleaner, I guess, or more packed, I guess. Let's think today about, what's that, diamond, cool. You know, when you move, you basically take your entire life and put it into boxes, which is kind of a weird thing to think about. It's like, everything that matters to you goes in containers, and then you get to move it back? What's here? What's this? Oh, my God. Gallimar. Whoa, lightning. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gallimar. I'm... Hmm. That was a chain lightning. If ever I did see one. Whoa, whoa, those hurt. Okay. Don't get hit by that, I guess. Hmm. How do I avoid the lightning? I guess, yeah, just get between his legs and hopefully stop getting, like, knocked around. Whoa! Okay, he can't spin around. So it's not like sneaking behind him was the answer to all our prayers, the solution to all our problems. Right. I just don't know what to do when he does this. We're just, like, stuck getting lightning. I guess we'll just damage race him and call this, like, a scouting run. He knows I don't know what to do. He knows I have no solution to this problem. Um, okay, he got a little fiery there. Okay. Hmm. More of that, eh? I mean, it doesn't hurt that bad. It's just that it keeps hitting. And then it locks me down where I can't do anything. It's the main problem. Let's um, go ahead and heal up. This hasn't been a clean fight, but we have so many high potions. Worst case scenario, we go back and try again. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. Some toe damage. Ow. Don't do it. He's doing it. 53. Why is he hurting more? That's it. We're going to die. Was there some defensive buff from the fist weapon I had on before or something? All right. Yeah, game over. It wasn't that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Don't celebrate it too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut him off. Back in. Ooh, eyeball. One of the most unsettling save icons. Lucky us. We got to experience it again before the end of the game, which I think is probably coming up. Okay. Um, I don't know the time. Yeah. Hmm. So what do we need to do? What's, what's our strat here? I think not getting hit by the giant, like, energy balls is a given. I think we just have to take the lightning. I don't see a way out of the lightning. Ow. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah, that. Okay, so when he raises his staff up, just doing that. Okay, he can't fire it, like, between his legs. Like, trick-shotting. Okay. This is going way worse than last time, actually. Stop it! Part of it's because he's casting his best attack. Repeatedly. Hmm. Alright, Bible. Hmm. Here we go, 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 here we go. There's some damage for you. He's green, he's red, he's, he's just having a bad time. Okay. Yep, that was, that was a smart move on his part. Okay, we're gonna die again. I, I don't care. Just do it. I become blood and disappear into the air, mystified, <laughs> literally quite mystified. Okay, take three. Hmm. I don't know how good this guy is, you know? I don't know if we've gotten close to beating him because we've gotten some damage down on him, but he hasn't gone into like a second phase or anything, I don't think. So, hmm. When he raises his big scepter up. I did that last time. Yeah, like that. Just just don't mess. Just let him finish. Yeah. Lightning time. Yeah, that's... It sucks when he does that, but it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. He's done it again. I could probably take, like, resist lightning. I just noticed it says R.I.P. there on the floor. I want to get Bible out. Come on, Bible. Do some good work, good book. Okay, Scepter Strike. More lightning. Fine. Fine by me. He, I think he may have knocked me out of lightning range, actually. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, God. I didn't even notice he was hitting me with that. Shit. That's... He's doing it again. I'm stuck in the corner. I can't go anywhere. He's... I, I, I'm... Okay, that sucks. There was nothing I could do there. Certified lame. This guy's good. This guy is good. He's not that good. He's got some good attacks. But other than that, yeah, whatever. I've seen better. Oh, hey there, uh, Nate the Great. I mean, you suck. I mean, that's true. <laughs> You're not going to hear any arguments from me uh, to the contrary. But on, on the other hand, this guy has like... He has like lightning balls that do like 50 damage a pop. And like, he corner bashed me there. It wasn't sporting at all. I resent that maneuver. Just lightning me. Just do it. I don't care. Okay. New goal. Don't get in the corner. That's what we learned from this last one. This last... Okay. Here he goes. Nope. Yeah, fire your balls. Your attack is balls. You should just throw yourself at me if you want to use a ball attack. Would have worked. More? Okay. It doesn't even make that cool of a sound. It, like, strobes way too much. It's not cool. Your attack isn't cool. You're moderately cool. Whatever your name is. I've forgotten. I think it started with a G. Big dog. Oh, shit. Nope. That, that's the one. That's the one we gotta watch out for. It's pretty obvious animation when he does it, isn't it? So... Ah. All good. Yeah. Hope you're doing well tonight, Nate the Great. Hope everything's going well in your... He's doing it. Going well in your world. Hopefully there's not a giant, like, bipedal dog god with a lightning spear or scepter throwing, you know, attacks at you. I don't want to be over here. It's safe for now, but it's about to be very, very unsafe. Back kick. Shit, this is, this is exactly why. Ooh, just, I'm doing bunny hops. Okay. Bunny hop saved me. Let's go ahead and heal. This has been a pretty good run. Uh, high potion, please. Whoop. And we're about to get lightning. It's gonna suck. Prepare yourself, Alucard. There it is. Right on cue. It's fine. We came out okay in that exchange, I would say. Yeah, Scepter Attack's never gonna hit me. That attack will. And it'll knock me over. There we go. More lightning, eh? That's fine. We can handle lightning. Lightning's no big deal. How much health do you have, guy? I've been, like, poking at your toe for, like, a very long time. At least, like, five minutes. 
Oh shit, oh shit, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I, I can't, I can't escape. I can't escape. Okay. Okay, he's, okay, he's resetting. Oh shit. Okay. Take a moment, let's breathe. Breathe a little bit. High potion, yeah. He really is the hardest boss? Oh really? Okay, well, I feel a little better, I guess. Let's double potion. There we go. His moves aren't like that crazy though, so far. Unless he has like a phase two. In which case, shit. <laughs> We're gonna have a bad time. I'm tempted to use some like lightning resist or something. Or like check my inventory if I've got like a lightning resist uh, weapon or armor or anything. I think I do actually. Don't I have like um anti-lightning uh, mail or something? I'm pretty sure I do. Damn sure I do actually. No, no, no. And now we pause, because you have to do your attack, and you don't stop, even though you know it's never ever going to hit me. You just have to finish it. You have to get all your balls out. I understand. I guess when you queue your balls up like that, it causes pain when you, like, leave it in, right? Like, you have to unleash that energy. Or it'll just build up inside of you, and then you'll get, like, tender. Especially, like, the next morning. Yeah. Blue balls are no joke. No joke at all. Good job, Day Day. Way to get a hit in there. All right, so he's he's really liking the lightning recently. Hmm. He's a huge fan of it. He's a lightning casting type of dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he actually got me that time. Congrats. Oh, he kicked me. Oh, we're in the corner again. That's not good. I think he's retreating, though. Hmm. More high potions, please. We... Hmm. We sunk a lot of high potions in this fight, but we're kind of, like, committed at this point, so... No, no, no. Yeah, we're, we're gonna... This is the run. Unless we just really get screwed here. Or unless he has, like, all the hit points. Which he might. I just keep passing Bible as well. That's damage I'm leaving on the table. There we go. Oh, I'm... Didn't even get to use the Bible. I'm using all my Bible juice for no reason. Wasted. Wasted Bible juice. What a shame. I do like how the uh, the book flew off in his direction when it ceased. That makes me happy. How much health do you have, man? I'm looking at his face. It's actually like a dinosaur face, isn't it? Very scary. Can you imagine if you're like a brontosaurus or like some prehistoric creature and you saw this thing come up over the ridge? Ancient Egyptian god looking. Hmm. I'm glad the lightning didn't hit me there. I don't know why it didn't hit me, but I'm happy. No. No, no punch. No punch, please. Do not kick me. I'm not a soccer ball, a football, any other sort of ball. Let's probably get another heal on. Another heal, though. He's got so much HP, really. Oh, that's annoying, because I don't. I've got some HP, but not that much. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Suddenly, dangerous. Where's that elixir? Yeah, let's use an elixir. I really hope we're out of ball range here. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I My hands are clasped in prayer. Oh, it's lightning time. I thought I was out of range. That's really annoying. Oh, he's doing it. <sighs> Sigh. All right, let's get in there. Let's get out of there. <laughs> let's wait, then we'll get back in there. Okay, here we go. Hmm. I don't like getting kicked back. His feet are like the perfect distance apart to keep like stun locking you and hitting you. It's quite obnoxious. Come on. Come on. No, don't become wolf. Wolves are not any more immune to lightning than humans. Or half humans, half vampires. There we go. All right. Whew. Finish what Kid Dracula. I can't see the entire achievement. You are dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty dead to me. There we go. Nice. How many levels was he worth? Because I think we just had, like, barely 500 HP before. 
Now we've got almost like 550, 560. Damn. Okay, cool. Tough boss. Hardest boss down. GG, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Nate. Ah. So this is good. Because, you know, kill the hard boss. In a room full of skulls on the ceiling. I'm all about this. But the bad news is, I don't see Dracula anywhere around here. And that felt like... Maybe, like, the only boss around here. Like, you wouldn't put Drax after that situation. So, the question becomes, where the hell is Dracula? If not down here, or up here, I guess, then where could he be? Hmm. Well, I guess it's good because, you know, we didn't, like, go into the next room and fight the final boss or anything. Ruby circlet. Hmm. Let's take a look. It's a relic? Where is it? Hmm. Nah, it doesn't seem like a relic. It's It's gotta be... Hmm. Is it a helm? It is a helm, okay. Restores HP by fire damage. Oh, okay. And it raises your intelligence, but drops your strength. And attack. Hmm. We'll stick with the Dragon Helm for now. But... If we do fight a fiery enemy, it'll be a good option. Gas Cloud. Gas Cloud. I have obtained the power of eating bean burritos or like Chipotle or something. Okay, cool. I guess. Well, let's see. Right, yeah. So now we're like poison mist, I guess. That, that uh, yellowish mist looks pretty close to... You know, your classic Elden Ring, Dark Souls sort of mist. They have, um... There's effects that are kind of like that in those games, I would say. So, kind of familiar territory. I guess I just have, um, PTSD from it, because... Back in Dark Souls 2, that was the mist that would, like, melt your equipment and break it instantly. Ugh, bad times. Man, that game was mean. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 was, um, they really leaned into the, we're making a hard game situation. And boy, did they make a hard game. I'm glad I came through there and re-picked that diamond up. I think I picked it up and then died to Sir Anubis or whatever his name was. Huh. Okay. So, if Dracula is not here... Then the only other place I can think of that's worth trying... Well, there's like this entire right side of the screen, like upper right. But I don't see him being there. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe the clock at the middle of the uh, the screen is where he is. Maybe we couldn't get to him before because we didn't have all the relics. But we have all five of um, our father's body parts now. So it might be time to go back and uh, check that out. So I think we're going to loop up and around and go to the save point, kind of, you know, just below this zone. Actually, there's that entire right side just before that. So we'll we'll hit that on the way out. But, yeah, I think we'll go back to the, the clock room and see if we can't, like, teleport down. Because I do remember, I do recall, that there was a very evil-looking room. It was the room we fought Maria in, right? in the right way up castle before she deemed us, you know, good enough to fight, uh, was it Richter? Yeah, Richter Belmont. So, hmm. Hmm. And then nothing bad ever happened in that room. Like, we fought a bunch of cute animals and stuff, but as far as, like, big bad guys, there, was, there wasn't any. Besides myself, of course. So I'm thinking, maybe that's where we go. That's my reasoning for wanting to go there. And plus, it's just like a big, important room, you know? So. Hmm. Hello, corpses standing on the ceiling, all staring at me, posed in, um, you know, very meticulously. Good to see you guys. Hope you're having fun hanging out. This music down here is just, I don't know. It's a little bit too, like, you're panic all the time. This is good, like, boss music, I would say. But as far as music to uh, traverse a zone and explore with, 
a little bit much, my opinion. That's why I thought Dracula was around here, you know, it's mostly because of that track being so in your face evil. All right. So, at my new apartment that I'll be moving to tomorrow, I did get the internet set up, as I mentioned before. And it's supposed to be fiber, so it's supposed to be pretty dang fast. But I did a speed test while I was there, and it did not seem that fast to me. I mean, not that much faster. I will say the upload speed was, like, really good. It was, like, higher than the download speed, which is really weird. That's backwards from what, um, from everything I've seen before. So, that's pretty neat, but... I don't know, I was expecting it to be really awesome. Now, I was checking it over Wi-Fi, so that's kind of part of it. And, like, Wi-Fi from the other room, although I don't know if, like, distance matters with that sort of thing. I kind of feel like it shouldn't. Is it just another Power of Sire, which we still haven't tried? So then we got two paintings of our dad. It's starting to get weird. You know, it's not that weird to have, like, one picture in your wallet of your family members, you know? Like, people do that all the time. Very common. But... Having two of the same picture, a little strange. Right, to the teleport we go. Thornweed, get out of here. Before you become coarse weed. Huh, <sighs> right. Okay, so. Up we go. This is not where I wanted to go. Try again. Nope. One more time. Yes. Perfect. Okie dokie. Ah, so nice to hear a different tune than the uh, just alarming <laughs> BGM. Oh, is the Cthulhu monsters again with their giant balls of, like, radar sounds? Oh, hey, General Hunter. How's it going? Welcome. Hope you're having a good evening tonight on this Friday. It is Friday, right? Ghost Dancer. Just, I, I didn't ask. I did not order a Ghost Dancer. It seems like one of those things you could, um... You could order for, like, Mother's Day. Or, like, a bachelor party or something. It's like, yeah, let's just get some Ghost Dancers to draw by. It'll be great. Um, up we go. Oh yeah, this giant sword. You're an asshole, sir. I don't want to mess with you. Yeah, whatever, man. Don't sneeze at me and I won't sneeze at you. How about that? How about we just go our separate ways? Or, like, I'll go my way and you just stay here forever. This is not the way out. It's not. You hate school in this first week? Ah, hang in there. It'll be all right. You got this. Yeah, I guess it is that time of the year, right? Where all you all you youngins are going back to learning and stuff. Huh. Well, hopefully you had a good summer at least. And it's the weekend now, right? So, there you go. Be sure to relax and make the most of it. Um. Yeah, this is the right way. Clock should be right around here. I feel like the next zone over, I think. Yes? Is this correct? It's very green. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. Let me up. Thank you. Aha! Last in one damn month. You only got one month of vacation. Really? Well, it's better than none. <laughs> I wish I could take a month off. <laughs> I haven't done that in, um, since I was in school, actually. Alright. Well, now the, uh, clock hands are pointing up. Instead of down, but I guess it's still six. Yeah, it is six, isn't it? Is it six the other way? Now I'm kind of confused. Oh well. Better go up before it um, changes its mind and locks me out of endgame forever. Okay, that is still an elevator. What are you? Heart refresh. Huh. Cool. When your heart needs a refresh, use that. No more need for open heart surgery or anything like that. Just uh, 
Just refresh your heart. With this crying child. This little cherub. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, right here. It is weeping, isn't it? It's hard to tell with the pixel art. It's quite pixelated, but pretty sure it is. Hmm. We saw this Power of Sire, which don't know what that does. You've never heard of this game, really. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's a... It's kind of an all-time classic, you know. It's a very well-beloved game. I'd say if you have a chance to play it for yourself, you should maybe check it out. If you're into, like, old-school platformer Metroidvania type games. How's this work? This chain is, like, pushing up. I've never seen a chain or a rope push up. This may be the most, like, evil fell magic I've seen, is, like, reverse chain. What does that mean? It can, like, it can only push, but you can't pull on it. So you can't pull that chain. I don't know. Many questions. Yeah, this is looking... It looked evil the first time through. I still think Maria hanging out down here was the most suspicious thing she could have done. Like, she could have been having a tea party with Dracula himself, and it wouldn't have been as suspicious as hanging out in this room. But I'm thinking this is probably the end game, so let's see what happens. What was it, Shaft? That's right. Recognize. So you are the one called Shaft? I am he. You may you said yes. Lord of the castle. Why? Because we tire of these hunters and their holy power. If they would but turn on one another. Ah, I see. You were tired then of them. The strongest one among them would eliminate the rest. Belmont. Hmm. I don't know why yes. he's pausing so dramatically. So I converted him, brought him here to lure the rest, to force them all to fight and die. It's a pretty good plan. But you never planned for me, and now you failed. Not yet. Ha! Your human soul is frail as his was. You'll take his place. I'll tear that soul apart. We'll see about that, Shaft. Bring it on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yep. He's he doesn't hit that hard, which is good. He's got green orbs, which I don't know. Could be worse. Wait, that one did hurt. That was like twenty something damage, wasn't it? Oh. More lightning. Good. I was tired of getting shocked by the last boss. Wow, Shaft. You talked a lot of shit. The darkness awaits you. Dwell there for all eternity. Oh shit, what a line. Uh, I die victorious. Count Dracula rises even now. Let him purge the world in flames. <laughs> yeah, just die, man. There it is. <laughs> he didn't get subtitles for that one. For his dying scream. Hmm. Oh good. That was some. Um, that looked like a berserk, like the eggs. Egg of the King, or whatever they were called. Father. In the background. Well met, my son. Hey, Drax. It's been a long time. Not nearly long enough. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. Do you still side with humanity? Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? You think I would forget such a... No. But neither do I seek revenge against them. Enough of your nonsense. Away with your humanity. Stand with me as prince of all the world. You will never touch this world again. Ooh. In mother's name, I swear Damn. it. Damn. Tremble. Oh, God. That is, that is pretty. I'm trembling, actually. If you're going to tremble, that, this is a good reason to. Uh, let's get the Bible out, shall we? If ever there was a time. Use the Bible to its full power. It'd be when you're facing this guy. God, he's scary. I don't like his, like... Oh, hmm. Is he healing? Did he, like, summon a boss to kill it so he could heal? Why is there so much lightning around? It's okay. You look like you're casting something. Yeah, 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 I thought so. I thought so, Dad. It's a good thing I take after Mother and not you. Because, holy crap. Yeah, we're getting some damage on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Triangle magic, triangle magic. Nature's strongest shape. Get out of here. 
Okay. 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 Oh, hang on. Hang on. Health's looking low. Okay. Hang on. It's okay. We have potions. We got elixirs. Stay calm and heal the fuck up. Okay. Another one. He is healing again, isn't he? I don't think there's any... Stop corner bashing me, please. Hmm. Oh, we're out, of, we're out of potions all of a sudden. Oh, well, that's less than ideal. That's not optimal. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just keep hitting him until he stops. Oh, there we go. Go back to the abyss. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How could I have lost? You lost your heart, your soul. You'll never win without them. Damn. Oh. How poetic. So, I tragically sacrificed all I held dear in a search for power, did I? Did you not? <laughs> huh. Tell me, what? <laughs> what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said that she would love you for eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. I'm just in knockback that entire time, by the way. We had that conversation. I was flying through the air, having been, like, punched in the face by a giant face fist. But actually, the writing there at the end was pretty good. I like Dracula, like, calling out that his son basically said that he um, sacrifices humanity for power. He's like, oh, is that what I did? And his son's like, and Alucard's like, was that not what you did? And Drax just like laughed it off. It's like, yeah, whatever, man. You don't understand anything. Huh. This is like the first ending we got, which is like the not true ending. So I was telling you, I stoned out. Was I telling you that? Did I stone out? Oh, hey guys. So you made it. Alucard, you're all right. I sure am. So Killed my you dad. Fight your own father? It's my fault. If I hadn't been so weak, we wouldn't be True. Here. True, Ricker. Not so. No, no, no. I had my own reasons to face him. Still, it couldn't have been easy. Yeah, it wasn't that it bad, wasn't. actually. <laughs> but remember, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Really? We're going to end with that so line? So what now, Alucard? Okay. The blood in my veins is cursed. It's best for the world if I disappear. Now Aww. and forever. I see. Yeah, Maria's a little disappointed Farewell, about that. Then. We'll not meet again. Alucard. Yep. Well, are you going after him or not? <laughs> no, he's right. It's best this way. There's no way I could ever ease his pain. Maybe someday we will meet again. Who knows? Maybe. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone's waiting? Are they? Yes. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the delivery on that last line. It's like you're leaving a fucking Pizza Hut or something. It's like, yes. Let's get out of here. Giant freaking castle in the background. Giant, like, evil scourge of humanity. Dracula himself. Like, um, just died in a, in a ray of golden light. Your best friend basically just said, I'll never come back. I'm, like, isolating myself for all time. Uh, the girl with you, like, almost chased after him, but decided not to at the end. And what Richter has to add is, eh, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's leave. But yeah, all right, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm pretty sure that's the true ending, right? It's got to be. I guess I'll look into it and make sure there's not some other secret ending that we're missing. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. So, General Hunter, you've been spoiled on one of the greatest games of all time. <laughs> Congratulations. Huh. Great game. Awesome game. Really glad I got to play it. It's a bucket list one for me. You know, I've wanted to play it for 
a very long time and um, very happy to have caught it all on stream. 50 minutes up your butt? Bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? 50 minutes up your ass. It'll be okay. I'm going to find a way to fill the rest of the time. We're going to two hours tonight is the plan. Probably just exploring the rest of the castle. But let me just check the endings real quick. Hmm. Just chill and listen to this music like we did the first time. Hmm. I think CBR.com, whatever the hell that is, can tell me what I need to know. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yep. Interesting. You got straight to the end. I know, it's crazy. Like, you sped run that shit. <laughs> you experienced the game in probably the least optimal way you could possibly experience it. So that's cool. So. Hmm. It looks like... You've got to fully explore both of the castles to unlock the true ending, which ain't happening. Hmm. Warhammer droned your brain. Ah, you enjoy some Warhammer, do you? I used to play Warhammer 40,000 back in the day. I actually had some... I played Eldar. I had some figurines and stuff. I was never any good because I was, like, I think probably a bit too young to really understand what was going on. And I also didn't really have anyone to play with, but... I love the lore for Warhammer 40k, and I did play a couple games. Um, and I did enjoy like painting them as well. But man, that was a long time ago. Blood Angels? I see. Yep. Space Marines for you, eh? Fine. <laughs> Enjoy sacrificing your life for the Emperor. Or those chaos. I, I don't know. I'm not, like, super into the lore, but I know some things. Yeah, here, here we go. Yeah, they were Space Marines, right? For the, for the Emperor. Yep, okay, there we go. That confirms that. Yeah, I like my Space Elves. I like my Eldar. And all their, like, technology and stuff. What a game. I'll do my like concluding thoughts on the game as we explore the last bit of the castle and kill an hour. <laughs> We've got a very passionate servant of the Emperor over there in chat. The thing I like about the Warhammer 40,000 universe is there's really no good guys, right? Like, literally every faction is sinful, like, to different degrees, but, you know, no one is perfectly good. They're all kind of fucked up. It's part of what makes the lore so great, in my estimation. Oops. I didn't... Okay, no, this is fine, this is fine, this is good. It's like, I haven't explored up there, but that, the reason I haven't explored up there is because I've been up there, and I didn't save. Is Sundowner was in war? Is Sundowner was in war? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's Sundowner? Hmm. An alcoholic drink taken at sunset. Informal. British. Okay. Now I know. I don't think that's what you're talking about, but it is a word, apparently. Alright. You guys, can I finally get revenge on the Guardian? Hmm. 
At least he's not doing damage anymore. Do like one, one, uh, one HP a hit. That's totally fine. These guardians are tough as fuck. If Sundowner was in Warhammer, you'd be having all fun. I see. But I don't know who Sundowner is. Or you see, I'm uncultured. Explain to me who's Sundowner. Ooh, six damage. Good job. That one actually tickled a little bit. You're going down, Guardian. How tough is this guy? Is he like the toughest enemy? In 76 fucking damage. Holy crap. And he gave me 50 bucks for my trouble. Okay. Yeah, you guys are officially not worth it. Come on, Daddy. We're getting out of here. Oh, good. More Gorgons. More Jackabones. Hmm. We are a lot better, but the enemies are still pretty good. Sundowners from Metal Gear Rising. Ah, that's another game I haven't played. Who was Sundowner in that game? Because I know a little bit about it, but I'm not familiar with that name. Let's look it up. Let's learn. I I'm sure I'll recognize him when I see his face. Yeah, there we go. That guy, yeah, the bald dude. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember him. I remember that that dude, that bro. I'm not familiar with all the story and stuff, but I, I remember his face. Big bald dumbass. Yeah, 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 totally. Bald and not beautiful. <laughs> but apparently a badass. I need to play that game at some point. Is that game on my list? I'll check it out. But yeah, as far as like a debrief on Symphony of the Night and like my final thoughts and stuff, I don't know what else I can really say. It's an amazing game. It's an all-time classic for a reason. Uh, the music's awesome. The art is awesome. The game overall is awesome but interesting. Um, I think the the decisions they made in the second castle are kind of strange. Like all the regular enemies are pretty damn tough, but the bosses were not. So this is like weird difficulty curve where it's like very, very straight up. <laughs> it's a difficulty wall when you're just running around, especially when you first get here. And then you eventually find bosses and stuff and then you just like plow right through without any trouble at all. He made a shit ton of war crimes. I see, right. Yeah, then he'd be right at home in Warhammer 40K universe where like war crimes are basically celebrated. As far as I can tell. But... Yeah. I guess if you are going to play... Hmm. If I was going to pick up Warhammer 40,000 today... No, hang on, hang on. We're doing the debrief on the game first. So, yeah. Uh, great music, great art, a lot of fun to play. Um, not that difficult in comparison with, like, Castlevania the first. Which still, like, when I think about it to this day, starts getting me upset. Um, yeah, Castlevania 1 is a mean game. This game is not mean. This game is perfectly okay. Like, we're what, like 10 hours in or so? And that's just pure game time. I think I figured out what's the deal with the clock, which isn't right. Uh, I think we've probably got about, like, 15 hours worth of stream time here. But I'm pretty sure the clock pauses when you're on like a menu screen or something so hmm. yeah that's not a question i can answer <laughs> my guy no idea but yeah awesome game lived up to the hype for me i'll say I don't know how much replay value it has, really. Besides just, like, being a good time. Like, I don't have a huge desire to, like, start over now from the beginning or anything. I kind of would like to play it again, but there's no, like, real point. Like, I'm not really gonna learn anything new. Like, I guess there's probably, like, challenge runs you could do. Like, self-imposed challenge runs, but... I don't know. Would it really be worth it? So, yeah, overall, like, kind of short. Kind of a short game. Shorter than I thought it would be, you know? But still great. 
Like, very high quality time when you're in here. The whole, like, having a summon system. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. Like, I don't know. The magic I never really used too much. It might be interesting to go through and, like, really try to focus on magic. But I, I don't think it was necessary at all. Having a summon, having a buddy is cool. But, yeah, I actually do quite like that system. I'll say. But the magic, eh. Can I not bat for him? You knocked me all the way down the shaft, did you? Hey, Monkey, Monkey Under Earth. How's it going? How's the Vania treating me? Pretty good, actually. We uh, we beat the game. Now we're just kind of running around and cleaning stuff up. Do my, like, my final thoughts on the game and stuff. All right, get off me, Amp. Don't run away. Your punishment is here. It is coming, and it will be swift, and you will die. There we go. Luck potion. I appreciate that. But, yeah. Yeah, awesome game. Really great game. Those are my final thoughts, I think. Where else? Should we go this way? So, yeah, now we're just kind of, like, randomly exploring. Aimlessly. Got a shield. Yeah, shields, though. We'll look at it, but no way we equip it. It can't be that good, right? Engraved with goddess image. Nah. How, how does the shield decrease your defense when you equip it? Oh god, all the imps are back. Good job, Dede. Yeah, you missed the Dracula battle. It went pretty smoothly, actually, honestly. Haha. <laughs> Get ultrasonic to death. Ultrasonic's not even a move that does damage. Wait, is it? I forget. No. Is it confusion or ultrasonic? Uh, whatever. I haven't played Pokemon in a while. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What character is the most bullshit? Um, so I did fight. You'll have to help me out here, Monkey Under Oath. There was in the. Let me point it out, actually. In the very tip top of this place, there was a big, like, giant Anubis dinosaur dog looking guy. I think his name started with a G. He was tough. That was a tough fight. That dude had so much health. Um, not really a crazy moveset or anything, but just the amount of damage he took and the amount of potions I had to pop to get him down was, um, it was no joke. Let's see. Yeah, Zubat can learn Ultrasonic. We know that. We're, we're aware of that. Well, I want to know about the move. Hmm. And then as far as like just regular enemies being annoying in this game, the uh, the crows, which I did put out a uh, a YouTube compilation of me getting screwed over by crows from this game on my channel. So yeah, I would have to say the crows are, they, they have the honorable mention for most obnoxious enemies in this particular game for me. Now I don't care about the evolutions, tell me about the move. See. The bub is always a nightmare too. The big hanging corpse guy with the flies. I don't think I fought him actually. I don't think I ever saw him. Maybe we'll come across him as we make our way across the rest of this castle. Oh, it's supersonic, not ultrasonic. I see. Yeah, and it does cause him to become confused. Okay, got it. So it's not one of Zubat's like direct attack attacks. It's um. It's the confusion causing thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm shooting ultrasonic waves and instead of confusing enemies, I'm actually killing them. So Alucard is confirmed better than a Zubat. How about that? How about that shit? Crazy, right? You're thinking of all the games I played? Yeah, I've played quite a few at this point. And we can knock this one. Who are you guys? Lesser demons. Lesser than what? Lesser than me, apparently. Catch on fire, walk a little ways, and then die. Not too bad. They're not too bad. Of course, we are at the phase where we can just, like, run into stuff and it doesn't really hurt anymore. Who the fuck are you? Fire demon, eh? Whoa. That was a mighty fire attack. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was a <laughs> very, like, horrible, monstrous-looking creature. But he had a real ass, <laughs> um, like, death sound that, like, a real person would make, you know? 
It's like, a, ah! Like, oh god, how could you do this to me? <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? What's your name? See you later. But yeah, as far as games we've played recently, let's see, let's go to the archives, shall we? And just check things out. So. We're currently playing um, Hades, and we're currently playing Arcade Paradise, right? And we'll probably keep playing those, I think. There's something in the night that we just beat tonight. There was Buddy Simulator, Observation Duty, Amori, Cuphead, Half-Life Alex, um, a couple of one-offs like Iron Lung, Near Automata, Who's Lila, Elden Ring, Inscription, Always Tabs, Rogue Legacy 2. Those are the recent ones. Hmm. Like, what bullshit character have you noticed out of the games I've played? Huh. Let's see. So, are you talking about player characters or enemies specifically? General Hunter. I mean, when it comes to bullshit characters, like, Super Peasant's got to be up there, right? Enemies, okay. Hmm. There were some... Very tough, very bullshit enemies in Rogue Legacy 2, I would say. There were some bosses in that game that I spent a good hour and a half, two hours on. Because I was kind of underleveled when I did my run through of that, I think. I didn't do any grinding at all. So I would say, yeah, there's some Rogue Legacy 2. And some of the later zones of that game as well got pretty damn um, <laughs> nonsensical. That yell sound, it's just, ah! so good. But, ooh, shiny. High potion, nice. Yours would be Good Maunder. Good Maunder? What game is that guy from? I'm going to declare, we are now officially in casual gaming and free talk mode. Good Maunder. I'm getting good Maunder, or good modern references from For Honor. Okay. Let's go look at this guy. Oh, good Maunder. I see. He looks tough. He looks good. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. For Honor is not a game I've really considered playing. Hmm. Viking ass warlord wolf bitch. I see. Tell me how you really feel. Hmm. Okay. I see. Any other annoying enemies come to mind for me recently? From Elden Ring, I'll never get along with the Draconic Tree Sentinels. Never, ever. We have an eternal feud. They ended my first playthrough of that game. And um, they've annoyed me since then. They're too tough. They're too good. Screw those guys. Don't like them. Why do I hear lightning sounds? Why do I hear the sound of thunder above me? You. Ow. I've been unbatted. How could you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, light you on fire. What do you think about that? Don't think you're getting away either, goblin. Gremlin, sorry. Sorry. How rude of me. I'm sure that happens all the time, and it's just not acceptable. I mean, you get your name wrong like that. Come here. Come down here. Where's he going? Fine, I'll just leave then. Cuddler from Dead Rising 4. Hmm. Let's see. Dead Rising, eh? Never played Dead Rising 4. I played the first one. Had a great time with it. That was the uh, game I got an Xbox 360 to play. There's like that 
skulls in here, aren't there? Yeah, bitterflies. Why invisible enemies? Kind of cool. Kind of unique, but why? Besides, they're just good. Power of lightning figure, go! She says, and then she dies. This place is full of butterflies. It's infested. They're all over the place. There's imps here, too. Man, there's just a bunch of shit around here, isn't there? This room is chock full of enemies. And they just want to get a piece of me. Hmm. These things suck. 71 damage a pop. Little four spikes. They can suck my nuts. Not a fan of them. Hmm. Let's see. What to do when fighting Cuddler? Don't get close. Don't go close to him. Got it. Noted. Hmm. What do we have here? Life max up. Nice. Completely unnecessary upgrade. Let's go. Let's go. We beat the game. We don't need it. We'll take it. Not going to turn it down, but... We don't need to be any stronger. We're strong enough. Certified. Good enough. Just the way we are. That gremlin's about to hit me. As soon as I come off this map screen, he's going to charge into my shin, maybe light me on fire, and possibly knock me back into the next room. Let's see what happens. Oh, honorable mention from this game. Uh, fleas. Fleas are annoying. I guess Flea Knights and uh, Flea Riders, specifically, are, are quite enough. Don't do it. Whatever. I'll take one damage over, like, 50 or whatever I would have got down there. I see you, Invisible Bug. Floating around. I don't see. I, I thought... Ooh, close. I have gotten so... Don't you do it. Don't you knock me out of the room. Salem Witch. I'm... I'll be with you, like, right now. Congratulations. Aren't you happy? You, you drew my attention, now you die. Any hunter from Halo? Never really gotten to Halo, I gotta be honest. I was never a huge first-person shooter gamer. Um, I did play a little bit of, like, Call of Duty back in the day, but not, like, multiplayer. I guess probably my most beloved FPS experience would have been with um, the Metroid Prime series, as weird as that is. But I love those games. Hello. Goodbye. Those would be fun to play, but... Let's see. I know that my GameCube versions are scratched to hell. Because I did try to stream them back in the day when I was... Um, in Season 2 of streaming. This is currently Season 3. Maybe in Season 1. I can't remember if it's Season 1 or 2. Boss? Nope. Nope, thank you. We'll find a save point and then come back and revisit that room. Hunters from Halo 5 or Hell. I'll take your word for it, man. Sounds believable. But... Yeah, I freaking love the Metroid Prime games. Did they release a port of those for Switch? I feel like maybe they did. If they did, we could totally play them. I don't, like, feel like playing them right now. But... That's something I should probably add to my list, you know? thing is, if I played one, I'd probably want to play the whole trilogy. And that's quite a commitment. Halo 2 Sniper Jackal? Hmm. Got it. I'm assuming he was, um, like a close quarters enemy, like he used melee attacks a lot. And hated fighting from a distance. That's just a guess. Going by his name, you know? Sniper Jackal, that is. Okay. Let's see what that boss is. It may be the one that, um... That our boy, was it, Under Oath? Monkey, I think? Yeah, Monkey Under Oath was talking about. Like, giant hanging corpse monster or something horrible like that. Let's go see. I can't wait to see him, if it is. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, goody. Long range? Really? That's surprising. It's surprising that the uh, Sniper Jack was a long-range enemy. But, uh, you know, I, I have no reason to doubt you. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, General Hunter? Okay, what's going on in here? We're locked in. But with what? Here it is. Yep, this is definitely what he was talking about. Giant fly, I'm poisoned. Okay. Let's just throw axes at his... Okay, his feet are gone. No fly. 
Don't want any. Heals the bub. Yeah, let's say. Enemies that you're glad you can't smell. He's surrounded by flies. I'm poisoned again. I think we just have to go through this fight poisoned. What do you think about this situation, Day Day? Day Day's like, it's pretty fucked up, bro. Yeah, I know. Perfect timing. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> we found him. Mm. Flies everywhere. Mm. Okay. See, the problem is now all of his dangly bits are, like, out of reach. So how do we do damage to him? Let's come up here. Ah, hang on. My nose is itching really bad. Worst timing. Okay. Whew. We're good. How's our health? Eh, not great, but could be much worse. Well, I just made my way up there. And you guys knocked me down. Not cool. Here we go. Okay. Oh, you got a lovely face. Let's just throw axes at him. We have plenty of axes in the pocket. Never leave home without at least, like, 30 axes. That's what I always say. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got him. Nice. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hello, Forsaken from Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Ah, a Monkey Under Oath. You can participate in this as well. So, um, General Hunter's asking for, like, most obnoxious enemies that you've faced in a game, right? Like, ones that really stick with you as, you know, the, the ones that grind your gears and just really set you off. Do you have any candidates for that? Anything come to mind when I bring up that topic? Ring of Arcana. Huh, okay. Sounds promising. Increases rare item appearance. Uh, yes, please. I'm somewhat of a rare co item connoisseur myself, you see. I'm always looking for rare items. Hmm. Let's see. We've been here before. Okay, let's go back over to the right and keep exploring... Like that entire leg of the castle. Doom Eternal's Barons of Hell. You know, I tried Doom Eternal, but I couldn't really get into it. I loved Doom 2016. That game was awesome. And I actually bought it and played it over the course of, I don't know, like a week. And had a blast. And then I immediately bought Doom Eternal, because I was like, I want more of this. And then it just didn't really scratch the itch for me. Now, I was playing on console, so that's part of the issue, I'm sure. To me, Doom 2016 felt like a game that you could play on console pretty comfortably. And um, Doom Eternal felt very much like a PC game, like a PC shooter to me. So if I was going to give it another go, I would definitely play it on PC, even though I'm horrible with, um, with mouse and keyboard in FPS games. I just don't have the experience, you know? Plenty of enemies from Dark Souls? Yeah, good call. Hmm, Dark Souls enemies. The blow dart guys from Blight Town that toxic you? Very annoying. Um, from Elden Ring? Hmm, let's see. The I don't know, the the they're like the really tall, like axe wielding guys, like dual wielding, like switching weapon guys. I can't remember what they were called. But there was a boss fight where you had to fight two of them. And that was the toughest boss fight of the game for me personally. Because it was the boss fight right before I went back and got the uh, mimic tier. Which kind of trivialized the rest of the game. But that fight was really grating. The icon of sin, you say. I see. What game is that from? Uh, hmm. Oh, is that it? No, no, no. This can't be it. There must be more. I can hear a Salem Witch, like, casting thunder over in the distance. Ah, Pyramid Heads from Silent Hill. Nice. Classic. I've been imped. I'm just so mad about this. I can't stop attacking. Get out of here, butterflies. Now, I said it before, but... The death animations in this game are so excellent. It may be one of my favorite parts of the game. You know what? One of my least favorite parts of the game is these goddamn spike cannon guys. Yeah, here you go. I'm serious. Get to your thing. You know what? Have an axe. Have another one. You're not dead yet. 
How many axes can you take? I'm, I'm like a one axe person. You throw one axe at me and I'm pretty much done for the night. As a general rule. Assuming like standard axe rules, like nothing special. I, I was standing still last and you didn't hit me there. I'm just saying. Need to go farm schmooze. Oh, what a schmooze drop. That's rare. I don't mind killing some schmooze. I'd rather explore the rest of the castle for now. Unless it's like a really sick item that they drop. But... Yeah, this is the right way. I, I just can't be bothered with this fire. I'm just going to run into it till it's gone, I think. Hmm. That's another annoying enemy. Okay, how about from... There was a particular fight in Half-Life Alex that was annoying. It's like a big fight in a train yard, I think. That I, I died a few times on with a bunch of antlions and also combine shooting the entire time. That was annoying. Wasn't a fan of that. Personally. The best weapon in the game, I see. But I have Mother's Sword. It's got, like, sentimental value. Ow. This one lasered me. Big explosion behind me. I'm just so beyond giving a shit at this point. I'll let you, like... <laughs> I'll let you dribble me like a soccer ball across the room, Buster Demon. What, what is that? You spawn more demons. You can do that. You just, like, bring more of yourself. He's doing it again. Cut it out. I, I, I see. Okay. Dark Peasant because you kill him. Right, sure. From Tabs, I'm assuming. Dark Peasant. I don't know if I've seen... Ooh, that one's on a mission. A mission to die and summon another of his buddies. Too bad. Too bad I ended the summoning ritual a little early. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'd like, if we run out of places to go, we'll definitely go farm some schmooze. I don't mind doing that. We will get to two hours tonight. It's gonna happen. Resist guard. Okay. What you mean, like... It's like a headlamp or like a nightlight or something. It goes with you wherever you go. I keep on doing that spell, and I have no idea what it is. Let's take a look. Um... No. Someone's fourth spirit? No. It can't be hellfire. It can't be soul steel. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, our weapon right now is um, the Alucard Sword, so it's pretty good, you know? When I get done with the game. Yep, understood. I'll keep that in mind. Although I'm not sure when, we be, when we'll uh, pick this game back up, you know? I'm pretty... satisfied with what we've accomplished with it on this run, i got to say. Great game, though. Had a great time with it. It lived up to the hype. That Jack of Bones. Look at that dude. He's doing like trick shots into the pillar. Making extremely annoying rattling sounds. Jack of Bones are pretty annoying, I gotta say. Especially when you first get to the reverse castle. So I was looking stuff up. Hmm. Sledge from Resident Evil 6. Did I just get... I wasn't looking at the screen. I, I did. I got Nova Skellied. That hurt. That wasn't pleasant. Wouldn't recommend that. If you're looking for something to do, how about not getting Nova Skeleton? What's that? Falls on the ground. Talisman. What's a talisman do? I mean, I know what talismans do in general. Oh, from Rainbow Six, not Resident Evil Six. I see. Gotcha. Never played Rainbow Six. Again, wasn't really much of a first-person shooter type. There it is. May absorb damage taken. You know, you use that word may. Like, you might if you feel like it. Not a big fan of things that might happen. Give me assuredness every day of the week. I'd rather take a pretty good effect that's guaranteed to happen over a awesome effect that may or may not happen. 
usually, in general. Okay, now we're getting back towards, like, the beginning of the entire game, which is cool. It's neat to be here. It's good to see this in all of its upside-down glory. But surely there's a save point around here. Surely there must be. A teleport will do. But surely there must be a save point, right? There's got to be a red room around here somewhere. Is it just around the corner? Let's find out. I bet it is. That's what my heart's telling me. My heart would never lie to me. Ha. Ah. Heart's right again. Good job, heart. Appreciate the assist. Ah. From Hollow Knight. Ooh, I remembered one. Okay, Hollow Knight. Those freaking floaty bugs that shoot three bullets. Those things can absolutely go die in a fire. Like the biggest, hottest fire. I don't want to see them ever again. Those things suck. They have the perfect AI that knows exactly how to float away from you to where you can't quite hit them, but they'll always hit you. Ugh. Fucking despicable. I'd like to play Hollow Knight on stream someday, but I did play through it once more fairly recently. And we do have Hollow Knight 2 to look forward to. Or Silk Song, I guess. I don't know if it's actually called Hollow Knight 2 or not. Who are you? Chicken Monster. Whoa, whoa! Dragon Rider! <laughs> that was a cool enemy. Boy, Dodo Bird! Oh, I think I just killed the last Dodo Bird. He wasn't even, like, really a threat. He was just, like, hanging out here in this hallway. Who knew? The Dodo Birds didn't go extinct. They just escaped to Dracula's castle. Huh. So maybe Dracula's a bit of a conservationist. Who knew? Uh, let's see. You're saying... K-A-N-T-E-S from Gears of War? I don't remember that enemy. I played Gears... One and maybe two? I know I played Gears 1 because I beat it with a buddy of mine on co-op and we had a great time playing it. But I don't remember that specific enemy. Let me look him up. Let's see. I don't know why when I typed in K-A-N-T-E-S to Google I thought I was talking about Kim Kardashian. Ocantus. Armored Cantus. Huh. Yeah, I don't recognize them. Which game were they from? Hmm. Let's see. Years of War Judgment and 3 was where they were first from. I see. Hmm. Man, Gears of War is a good time back in the day. That was one of the few games that actually did multiplayer online. I did that. I did some Left 4 Dead. Why are you doing 2 damage? I was taking 1 damage before. You knocked me really all the way across the room. Okay. Can we not do this again? We're doing this again, I guess. It's a it's Ouroboros. Okay, so he's different. It's like a unique one, I guess. Oh. The stun lock is real. He's totally combo me. Ward Rider. A, once again, okay, so he's not unique. Because there was another one in the exact same room. Oh, hey. What's up, puppy dog? These puppies were in the, uh... I guess they're wards, officially now. They're in the very beginning of the game, and they were very easy. They only died a few hits there. And they're dying in a few hits here, too. But we're much stronger now, so I'm guessing these guys are stronger than their right way up castle counterparts. Okay. What's that? Just a candle. Just a cross. Okay, we'll take cross. Hammer! Anti-venom! Okay, fine. We're not still poisoned, right? Yeah, we're good. Status is good, baby. We're good. We're good to go. Ah. 
Hmm. The gate is locked. Which is a shame. I'd like to see what's beyond the uh, castle gates and reverse castle. It could be an entire reverse world out there, you know. And we'll never know, because we won't see it. All right, back to the ward room, I guess. Not the war room, but the ward room. And Ouroboros room, too. Let's see if the side did not respawn. Nice try, Nova Skeleton. It seemed like retreating back into the war. Back into the ward, so we couldn't hit him. Okay. I admit I was just button mashing there. And we killed everybody. Whoa. Are you dead? Did I summon this guy? Is this a summon? Is he helping me? I turned this guy to my side. I've got a bone dragon, buddy. Attack him. Go on. Do, do something. I assume he's helping. I've got two of them now. What the fuck's going on? Are you, you guys are friendly, right? Because you're not hitting me, but you're not really hurting anyone else. You're just hanging out. Did I just, like, get some new pets here? They're just not saying anything. They're just, like, hanging out with me. Okay, whatever. What's the most badass boss from any game? Artorius, hands down, from Dark Souls 1. One of my favorite characters in ever. <laughs> the dude was great. Um, and this lore is awesome, too. Oh, more of these ladies. Quite annoying to fight if you don't really get them down. I've kind of learned the trick with them, though. You gotta rush them. Rush the plant ladies. Very scantily cloud clad uh, blue flower plant lady. Nova skeleton. Okay. Nice shot, buddy. He's gonna do it again. Hmm. Other tough bosses or like badass bosses. Huh. Sekiro had some awesome bosses. That's a game I would like to stream. Have I talked about my experience with Sekiro? By the way, when I was um, getting ready to move and like cleaning stuff out, I did find a baggie with a broken controller in it. A broken uh, PS4 controller. And that controller was broken playing Sekiro. I still remember. I still remember the boss. It, um... I don't remember her name, but it was kind of the tall, like, floaty, kimono-wearing boss that you fought on a bridge first, I think. Anyways, um, whoever this boss was, hang on, let me look it up, just for the sake of discussion. Bosses, yes. Let's see. Okay... No, not them. Not them. Mm -mm. Yeah, the monks. The corrupted monk, and then the true corrupted monk. So, I remember. What happened, basically, was... So I came up to a boss like that, and it took everything I had to beat him. Maybe I was just playing bad. Maybe it was just a bad matchup for me. But for whatever reason, that particular boss absolutely handed my butt to me over and over and over and I it was such a struggle to get through and then I finally got it down and I went into the next room and it was basically the same boss but harder and at that point I I was not in the mood and I was getting very upset and I did throw my controller uh, through a chair so I broke a controller and a chair and I had to stop playing I had to go get a new controller the next day. Yeah, Sekiro had some badass bosses, but that that is probably the toughest game I've played in recent memory. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. That game is no joke. And there are... I do want to replay it because there's a particular ending... I only played through it once. It got, like, one ending, kind of blind, like... The way I always play Souls games, right, is first time through, you just kind of go through, and you see what happens. And, um... You know, you try not to get spoiled, so you don't want to look up any specific ending, and you just let whatever happens, happen. And then in playthroughs after that, you know, you, after that, you kind of look things up, and you figure out, like, what's going on with the lore. And then you can, like, chart a new course for yourself. As far as, you know, the ending that you're trying to achieve. And, um... So, I do want to play through again. I want to get the, um... 
can't remember the name of it, but basically the, the demon of war and violence ending. I'm getting wrecked by Nova Skellies. How many times can you fire Nova Skeleton? Like, I think it should be one and done. There's another one just off screen. You better not be charging his attack either. You, get out of here. But yeah, I would love to play that game on stream and get that ending. I did start a second playthrough of it, and I had a really interesting experience. Because at the time I tried again, I think I had played it about six months to like nine months previously. So I still had some residual muscle memory from my first time through the game. So I was playing through, and all like the early game enemies, I was just completely tearing a new one. It was no problem at all. I was ripping, ripping them apart and having a great time. And then I got to one particular enemy. It was the... Um, like the royal scouts from the capital, the purple clad guys. And that dude absolutely took my overconfident ass and bent it over his knee and then just spanked me over and over and over again. And not in like a good way either. He completely humbled me. So that was a really weird experience of like feeling very, very good at the game and then just hitting a wall. And I dropped the game pretty shortly after that. Um, that, that playthrough of the game, that second playthrough. But I would like to start over and do that on stream. I'm just not ready yet. Armstrong is a legend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Senator Armstrong is a goddamn legend for sure. Wow. Metal Gear Rising is just... The meme content is out of this world. No one would deny that. Oh, there's no fishman here. That's kind of sad. I kind of miss him. Because there's no water. There's no fishman in the reverse castle. Actually, is there some water up there? There's some water up there. But it's not inhabited. Hmm. Yep. Very sad. Good old Senator Armstrong. He has a quote. Oh, man. He has a quote that I was quoting for a while. Monson started it? Hmm, I see. Is he the memes guy? But, um... Damn it. I can't think of it. I'll think of it when I'm not trying to think of it. He has a pretty underused quote that's freaking awesome. Oh, this doesn't like... Oh, it does link through. Okay. We've been here. We have not. I thought we had. I guess we haven't. Oh, hey. Cave Trolls. Is he going to cast lightning? That was a sound. I don't know what he was going to cast, but it sounded... Did I take damage from a coin there? That was weird. Hang on. It's bothering me. Memes the DNA and the soul. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Senator Armstrong quotes. Yes. <laughs> Google knows what I'm looking for here. Hmm... I don't know if it'll be on a 20 best quote list is the thing, because it was kind of a um, lesser known one. Hmm. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What's this top 20 Senator Armstrong quote article that has quotes from Raiden at the bottom? It's like, Here's some extra quotes thrown in. It's like, that's not what I signed up for. Hmm. Advertisement. The Am I Gay test, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this quiz will tell me. Maybe. Is this the entire script? For Metal Gear Rising? Huh. I think it is. I remember. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I didn't find it. But it's, um, well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I did address my friends for um, a good period of time as, like, Saucy whenever I would meet up with them. And say, well, if it isn't Saucy so-and-so. I won't actually name names, you know. But, yeah, great stuff. What the fuck is that? Dark Octopus. Okay. But yeah, that, that line cracks me the hell up. 
$2,000. Neutron bomb. What the fuck are these items we're getting? I just got two grand and a fucking neutron bomb. We're using it. I'm going to so use it. Who wants to get bombed? Any candidates? Any takers? Actually, no, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for after a save point. That's something we should actually do, you know, is we should. There's fish up there. I don't want to mess. Upside down fish. Killer fish. Looks like it's already dead. Hmm. Newton bomb sounds like a nuke. It's a neutron bomb, but yeah, it does sound like a nuke, doesn't it? It sounds dangerous. What's this? Alucard shield. Ooh, cool. Let's take a look. Strong versus all attacks. That's what you want, right? You don't want a shield that's strong versus some attacks. Okay, well, you know. That's the end of this passageway, I suppose. Anywhere else to go? Hmm. I guess not. So, okay, don't fuck with me, guys. I have a neutron bomb in my possession. And I will use it. Dark Octopus. It, like, turned into a tree when it died. That was weird. That was strange. Noglamir. Oh, I, I bet I know what's going on. I bet it's this ring that's making all these rare items drop. Huh. There it is. Dwarven necklace defense plus 15. Holy crap. Uh, yeah? We're getting good items. This is awesome. Huh. I guess that um ring really raises your rare item discovery rate. You know? Cool. Become fart. Move across gap. Continue. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Flame star. Cool. I guess. Man, I'm sad we didn't get this item earlier. Would have made exploring the upside down castle like way cooler. We could have been getting all kinds of rare shit. Whoa. Right in here. I can't go through this waterfall, I guess. Uh oh. I guess we're going down. All the way down! Jeez. Hmm. Oh, yeah, all kinds of great lines, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, what a, what a great game. <laughs> you know... I remember that game, the arc that game went on as well, was um, interesting to me. Because when, when Revengeance came out, at least in like the circles I, w I looked at for like reviews and stuff, it was not like super well received. Like it was a game that was ahead of its time, I think. People thought it was too cheesy and kind of, I think they, I think people were kind of upset that it wasn't a quote-unquote, like, pure, true Metal Gear game, you know? Like, it did away with all the stealth espionage action, for sure, right? I think that's pretty undebatable. It's an action game. I can become dog when I'm falling, but I can't move left or right. Oh. I really want to get over there. I want to see... Maybe we can. This is going to be tricky. Just, yeah, stick your nose in that wall bat and just rub it all the way up and down. I want to see snot all over that left wall. But yeah, it was, um... I wouldn't say it was, like, panned or anything. But... It wasn't received super duper well. Going by my memory, I could be totally wrong on this. And, you know, everyone kind of had their own opinions and stuff, I'm sure. But... Yeah, but then over time, people began to, like, appreciate it. Yeah, hypersonic violence. Yeah, you know, it, it is over the top, for sure. But I'm glad that people have, like, discovered it and, like, appreciate it for what it is now. I've given up on going to the other side of the waterfall. Whatever treasure is there, we'll be okay without it. Let me up. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna get it. 
This is where Alucard goes when he wants to burn some calories. Like infinite treadmill. There we go. Fat pentagram. Cool. Oh, we're in this hallway again. I remember this hallway. That's why we didn't come this way, because we got to here and we gave up, right? Yeah, yeah, this is all familiar now. This hallway sucks. It really sucked before. I'm imagining it still sucks pretty bad. Yeah. These blue flower girls, you can get in there and, like, wreck them pretty good. If you get them in close quarters, but if you give them any distance at all, rocks still hurt. Good job, Rock Knight. You rock. Heart sign. Okay, let's head up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I should probably play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance at some point. I have streamed the Metal Gear game before. Oh, it's these guys again. Joy. Prepare for fireball spam. There we go. That was sufficient. Um, I played Metal Gear Solid 2. I think. Yeah, back in the uh, the way back times. During season two of my streaming life. But. Never Revengeance. And I really don't remember much about Metal Gear Solid 2. I was very much a, a drunk streamer back then. <laughs> Way more than I am these days. So. And also just the uh, the style of streams I did. I did like variety streams. So every Friday I would kind of like. <clears throat> park my butt in front of the TV and we stream different games like every hour or so for about five or six hours. That was just the um, the format. It was a once a week thing. So we played Metal Gear Solid 2 once a week over the course of a pretty long time. And um, I think it's part of why not a ton of it really stuck with me. Anyways, we're going to try some stuff out. How about this neutron bomb? What does this do? No, no, no. Let's take a look. Okay. Not as cool as I thought. Gotta admit. It was neat. But it wasn't that good. Alright, let's back out. Reload. Get our bomb back. Ooh, we got Laughing Skeleton. Nice. That is a nice touch. I do appreciate the uh, sprite changing every time you save. All right, what else can we try? Actually, I probably should have just kept trying stuff instead of reloading, but whatever. Um, let's try the power of Sire, shall we? We're just going to try a bunch of consumable items here and just see what they're about. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Power of Sire um, is what I desire if I want to clear a room of enemies. Okay, we'll just see the effect on the uh, heart refresh, I guess. Okay. Oh! Ooh! That was kind of spicy, wasn't it? Damn. Naked ladies, give me all my hearts back. Okay. Alright, game. Stylish. What about the flame star? Let's check that out. I need a target. You'll do. I missed. I missed with my flames. He knocked me out of the room. Okay, that's fine. We'll fight these guys instead. Um, Fat Pentagram. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, these consumables are kind of like interesting, but they don't seem like super OP, which I guess is fine. Besides this one, Power Sire seems like really good. Okay, what else? Buffalo Star. Razor Sharp Master Star. Oh, huh, okay. And he just killed it with the spear. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Fine game. What the iron ball? Let's see. Did you ever find the shield rod? I think so. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. Shield rod, shield rod, shield rod. We have the moon rod. I thought I had another rod. Yeah, there it is. There's a shield rod right there. Why do you ask, Sir Monkey Under Oath? Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Got a multi-hits there. He lost a spear, too. Okay. What else do we want to try? 
Um, hmm. Yeah, nothing else seems that interesting as far as, like, consumables, so... Yeah, we'll try Mana Prism, I guess, just because. Why not? Okay, very similar to the uh, potion effect there, so... Nothing to write home about excitedly. Um, hmm. Let's try our Monster Vials. Let's summon some monsters. Oh, look at that! Oh, we got little happy, uh... Holy Skeletons. They throw some bones and they fuck off. Nice. I like them. So we couldn't use them as emergency rations, right? Because um, they're bones and bones don't have much readily apparent nutritional value. I guess you can make a soup or something, maybe. But yeah, not, not an immediate snack or bones. Equip the shield rod and then in your other hand, the leather shield. Then press both attack buttons at the same time to summon Cow Jesus. Sir, I think I might just do that. <laughs> You've uh, captured my attention here. Okay. And leather shield, right? I know I've got a leather shield. I remember looking at it last time because I mentioned that you could eat it if you had to. There it is. Okay. Defense up. Incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random. Who who discovered that? Who figured that particular secret out? Good job, that person. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything else we want to check out? What about magic missiles? We've seen plenty of these. Huh. Nice, summons a bow. Alucard is too fancy to draw back a bow himself, so he allows magic to do it for him. Uh, boomerang? Let's try the boomerang. Maybe shield has a different effect. Okay, let's try some uh, shield rod stuff out then. Wow, amazing. See you, boomerang. Um, hmm. Fire boomerang. I bet it's going to be like the last one, but just a little bit fancier. Look at that. Amazing. It was faster, too. Did you know that if you light a boomerang on fire, it'll actually go faster? Crazy shit. Hmm. We used the nunchucks before. They're actually pretty fun. Um. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's go ahead and reload. Actually, let's do the shield thing first. So where's my shield rod at? Oh, shield rod. Shield rod. Get in my hand, shield rod. So we're getting some delicious uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance quotes in chat. Love to see it. All right, Night Shield, what do you do? Whoa! Rainbow Horse! Attack up? More defense up. Okay. Cool. Uh, hmm. Herald Shield. Okay. Sure, this will herald a new power up. Oh my gosh! That was a very good looking sprite. Holy crap. I, I'm, I'm going to make note of this in the archive and go back and have a good hard look at that one. Damn. Damn. Okay. Um, let's see. And what about the goddess shield? Okay, let's check that out. Huh. Why does the herald shield summon an amazing looking goddess? And the goddess shield summons a horrible monstrosity. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't answer that question. Anyways, back to our good old standbys. The Fist of Tulkus and the, um, where is it? Alucard sword, right? Oh, what about the Alucard shield, though? Hang on. Let's try that one. Come on. There we go. Whoa! This is like a random effect or something. Power of all shields. It's like the master shield or something. Huh. Don't know what that does, but... Cool. All right, where's my sword? Don't you hate it when you put your, like, mother's 
like family heirloom sword down and then you can't find it in your inventory. There it is. Happens to me like all the time. Happened to me earlier today, actually. Okay, so we've kind of explored the entire right side. Um, hmm. I see somewhere we can go. Let's head to the right and down. Actually, no, no, no. Let's quit and reload so we can get all our good items back. I'm missing one shield? Oh, okay, gotcha. That's why it doesn't work. Oh, I see. So you have to collect all the shields for the Alucard shield to do its thing. Understood. So many, like, hidden mechanics in this game, you know? Hmm. Where's I gonna go? Right, down and to the right. Ha, huh. hit you on the way down. See you later. You will have no vengeance. You will forever be unfulfilled because you cannot strike me when I struck you. Don't rock me. Ooh, probably should have rocked me there. Oh, good. We get to go back through this hallway. Let's use our poison mist powers. This seems a little bit cheesy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's... <laughs> become unhittable. And also do damage. Anyway, just a cool feature. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for uh, pointing that out to me. Monkey under Road. Cool stuff. Would have never, ever, ever found that unless I was, like, looking online for, like, top ten secrets from Castlevania, something of the night that you didn't know about or whatever. That'd be cool to look up, though. I bet there's some really neat ones. What are you? Garnet. I came all this way for a garnet. Well, darn it. All I got was this darn garnet. Okay. Um, hmm. I kind of want to explore, like, directly below me, but it's a long trek. Hmm. Guess what? The Blood Angels don't give a shit. I mean, do they ever? They do not seem like the uh, the type of... Uh, like the crew that would give a shit about anything. Except making blood happen in the Emperor and all that. And killing aliens. I think I started this conversation before and I never finished my thought. I think I got distracted. So if I were to start Warhammer 40k today, what faction would I pick? Oh. And rises it's up by the ceiling there. I guess this gas rises. I guess it's lighter than air. Oops, become dog. Oops, become bat. I want to become mist, please. Hi, you missed. Now become mist. Hmm. Kill aliens and drink blood. I mean, seems like a good time to me. Jewel knuckles, nice. I think the uh, space orcs would be pretty tempting. They just seem like a good time, you know? Like, they're who you want to party with. Of anyone in the uh, Warhammer 40k universe. Which, as we've established before, they're all pretty screwed up. But Space Orcs seem like a good time. Were they called Space Orcs? Hang on. I'm pretty sure they were. There was an Orc faction, right, in 40k? I'm pretty sure there was. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Works were They're fun, though. They're cool. They're cool and dumb. <laughs> They're cool and dumb and fun. That's probably who I would be. But I'd have to research and really think about it. And, like, consider, like, play style and stuff, too. Going back through this dang hallway. Worst hallway in the entire game. Much, much easier when you're, uh, when you have missed powers. Especially poison mist powers. But even just regular mist powers make it pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna run out of time tonight to um, really do much else. Like I mentioned before, so we'll get to the next save room and then call it. What's gonna happen after the stream is I'm gonna go and like pack my PC up and get ready to move and pack all the rest of the, the stuff that I need to for tomorrow. Because movers are showing up early. So, the only scary thing from them is that everything they believe is true. Hmm, I see. Yeah, man. Warhammer 40k lore is next level awesome. Gotta say. Well, I think this is gonna do it, y'all. I think this is the end of the uh, stream. This is probably the end of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, unless someone can give me a good reason to, like, keep playing it. Like, I know, um, Under Earth was saying that 
there's really awesome weapons we can farm, and I would love to get it, but, you know, taking a look at the map, are there still some spots that we haven't explored fully? Yeah, yeah, there are. But we've done a pretty dang good job, I would say. So, not to uh, belabor points or anything. Uh, you hope my move goes well. Thank you, I do too. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I'll be happy once I'm all moved over and set up and stuff. So, um, I'm just ready to get it over with at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, Symphony of the Night, amazing game. You should play it yourself if you could. One of the classic Metroidvanias. Um, Well-beloved to this day for a reason. And it's one of those games I always knew I would like. And I did. <laughs> it is so right up my alley. Uh, maybe wish it was a little bit more challenging. But it was it was just pure fun. If it was more challenging, it would have been maybe a bit more frustrating and a bit, you know, I, I kind of do enjoy a bit of a a tougher experience. But this was just a blast all the way through with very few exceptions. One thing um, that I haven't mentioned with this game but that I really enjoyed was when you level up, you feel the power, like, immediately. Like, sometimes in Souls games, for example, you'll, like, gain a level, and unless it lets you equip, like, new weapon or new armor or whatever, like, you, you do get a little stronger, but it's very incremental, you know? It's, like, very gradual. And then at some point you're playing the game and you notice, like, oh, my gosh, I'm, like, a total badass now. When did this happen? This game, every step up feels like a significant step up, you know? Every time you gain a level... Everything immediately hits softer, and you do way more damage, and everything, just life gets so much better. So that was cool. Like, that immediate feedback. You know, having a level up mean something in this game was cool. Um, let's see, what else? The enemy variety. Holy crap. Like, so many different kinds of enemies. You could go in a room and find a unique enemy that, like those uh, dark octopuses that we found, or I guess it was just one dark octopus, because I think he's like the only one in the game we saw in the reverse castle. Had his own cool animation, his own attacks, his own awesome like death animation. And there's only one of him, and you could very easily miss him. It just kind of points to the attention to the detail and like the love that went into this game. Uh, voice acting was solid, I would say. A little cheesy at times, but overall pretty dang good. Always nice to have a break from reading lines. As fun as like voice acting lines is with my very limited skill. Um, it's nice when the professionals take over and you get to sit back and just kind of relax a bit. Uh, the difficulty of the bosses in the reverse castle was a little strange to me. They were all pretty easy. And it felt like a very deliberate choice. There's definitely a room full of dark octopi. Ah, must have missed it then. Well, for me, there's only one. One in my heart, and you know, is the one that we found. But yeah, it seems like they decided to make all the, you know, upside down castle bosses not that bad. Compared to the enemies that surround them, like just the regular enemies, they were way tougher than any boss I came across, with the exception of um, Bipedal Dog God, and I guess Beelzebub, and Drax, of course. But, so I thought that was kind of weird, but fine whatever game that's that's your choice and it felt deliberate like i said so i'm sure they did it for a reason um uh, hmm story is great of course uh it's like very sparsely thrown in like alucard's backstory and the whole thing with richter and maria um they they touch on things here and there and hint at things mostly and I guess there is a bit of a text dump right at the very beginning of the game and the whole prologue thing that sets it up. But it doesn't beat you over the head with story. You know, you're not finding freaking audio or text logs or anything where Dracula is like musing about what he's doing or anything like that. You kind of have to draw your own conclusions as to what he's really after and his motivations. And it even like highlights that at the end with the uh, ending dialogue, which I thought was really excellent and tasteful. I love it when games don't tell you everything, you know? The real dark, dark octopus is the uh, friends we made along the way. You know what, Monkey Under Oath? I don't think I could end it any better than that. So that's where we're going to end the stream, I think. This has been Laggy Couch.
This has been an absolute blast of a time with Symphony of the Night. What a great game. All right, guys, I'm going to go get ready to move. And um, I wish you all a great weekend. And take care of yourselves. I'm going to try to do the same. The couch is gone. Later, y'all.